Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 7 from 2 to 2, we were dealing with sample question of uh, alkali metals. So today, lesson 8, we are going to do alkaline earth metal. Remember, we are in the topic of chemical families, and we said in this chapter we are going to focus four families. The first one was alkali metals, we are done with it. The other one is alkaline earth metals. So, alkali metals and alkaline earth metals, they are... Uh, most of the cases, they have some similarities. Okay, if you know alkali metals, that means you know most of the things of alkali earth metal. For example, we start first of all, we say what are alkali metals. We say alkali metals, these are group 1 elements in the periodic table. So if you are asked what are alkali earth metal, it will be these are group 2 elements of the periodic table. So thereafter, we have seen when we are dealing with alkali metal, members of alkali metals. What about when we are dealing with alkali and earth metal, what are the members of alkali and earth metal? So members of alkali and earth metal include beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and also radium. So here we are having a grid. Uh, we have a grid of the periodic table. So here is group one, group two. So as we are dealing with group two elements, that's alkali and earth metal. So we want only that portion. So we are having beryllium here, chemical symbol of BE, we have magnesium, chemical symbol of MG, we have that of calcium, CA, we have strontium, SR, then we are having barium, BA, and lastly we are having radium. Radium is written RA as a chemical symbol. Remember we said in the periodic table we have eight groups and also seven periods. So during the exam, you can be told about from beryllium, magnesium, and calcium, state three other members of alkaline and earth metal. So remember to know strontium, barium, and also radium. Okay, so we're told compounds, compounds of alkaline and earth metals are found in abundance in rocks of the earth. So during the exam, you can be told, give a reason why uh, magnesium, calcium, and that of beryllium are said to be alkaline earth metal. Why are they having that name alkaline earth metal? So the reason is we are told compounds of alkaline earth metal are found in abundance in rocks of the earth and their oxides are basic and dissolve in water to form alkaline solution. So it is from these two properties that the alkaline earth metal gets their name. Next we are told only the first three elements in the group namely beryllium, magnesium, and calcium, will be dealt with in this section. Remember, these three elements are found in the first 20 elements of the periodic table. So that's why we are uh, seriously dealing with them. So next we are told the electron configuration of the first three al al alkaline earth metal, alkaline earth metals are as follows. We have beryllium, magnesium, calcium. So the electronic configuration of beryllium is 2,2, two, the one for magnesium is 2,8,2, two, then the one for calcium is 2,8,8,2. Two, eight, eight, two. So to see, let us know what do members of alkaline and earth metal have in common. So I told each alkaline and earth metal atom has two electrons in their outermost energy level. So if you are told what do members of alkaline and earth metal have in common, we are going to say each alkaline, alkaline and earth metal atom has two electrons in the outermost energy level. Therefore, they are divalent. So when they are undergoing ion formation, they are going to lose two electrons, therefore having a valence of two. That's why we are saying they are divalent. Remember, we said alkali metals are uh, monovalent. That means they are having a valence of one. So we are told, uh, down the group, there is an increase in the number of occupied energy levels. That's very correct because when we deal with beryllium, it is having two occupied energy levels, magnesium, three occupied energy levels. But when we go to calcium, it has three occupied energy levels. Okay, next, we are going to graduation. Graduation in size of atom and ion of alkaline and earth metal. Okay, here we are having the elements, beryllium, magnesium, and calcium. We have the atomic radius, which is measured in nanometer. We have the ionic radius. So if you see the trend, the atomic radii or the atomic radius of alkaline and earth metal is increasing down the group. And also the ionization, the ionic radius is also increasing down the group. So we are seeing the trend. The atomic and the ionic radii of alkaline and earth metal increases down the group. That's the trend. So what is the reason? The reason is, we are told, this is due to the increase in the number of occupied energy levels. Yeah, we have seen that one earlier on. We said beryllium is having an atomic number of 4. That means with electronic configuration of 2,2. The one for uh, magnesium is 2,8,2 because it's number 12. 
then we're having calcium to be 882 like that. So that means there's an increase in the number of occupied energy levels, thereby increasing the atomic and the ionic RD of uh, alkaline earth metal. Next, we are going to go comparing, comparing the atomic radius of two alkaline earth metal. Example, we are told the atomic radius of magnesium is larger than that of beryllium. So even if we see that table that we are given, the atomic radius of uh, magnesium is 0 0.136, but the one for beryllium is 0 0.089. That means magnesium is having a higher or a larger atomic radius when compared to beryllium. And the reason is because magnesium is having more occupied energy levels compared to beryllium. Okay, so what are we saying as our answer? We are saying this is because magnesium has more occupied energy levels than beryllium atom. That's the reason. The atomic radius is bigger than the ionic radius of alkaline earth metal. So during the exam, you can be told, compare the atomic radius and the ionic radius of alkaline earth metal. Or they can take a member of alkaline earth metal and they are told, compare it is atomic and ionic radius. So we're saying the reason is, this is due to the loss of two electrons from the outermost energy level. Hence, the resulting ion has one less, one less occupied energy level than the corresponding atom. For example, if we are dealing with magnesium, so here we are having magnesium. So this is the electronic configuration of magnesium atom. So it's having 282. So for it to become stable, it has to lose two electrons. So that means when this two electron is lost, we are going to have a, an electronic configuration of 28. That means the atom has more occupied energy levels compared to the ion. That's why we are saying due to the, the loss of two electrons from the outermost energy level, hence the resulting ion has one less occupied energy level than the corresponding atom. Okay, that is the end of our lesson.